Until I can do things like this, print this nice little plastic piece, I have to learn a few other things. So come along with me, enjoy the fun. Well, hey guys, Dave Anderson here, Helicool's Helipad. Hey, behind me is an Ender 3 Pro. And you know what? I've done a lot of mods for it. Let me show you those mods first, and then we'll get into what this thing is really for. Stay tuned. <laughs>
Needless to say, this is probably the worst area for a printer, especially in the winter time. Open the refrigerator or you open the door. Not good. I just need to find a new location. So those are all of the necessary mods. I know that there are some unnecessary mods, but if you want to do those, you're more than welcome to do it, obviously, because you're printing for your own printer. But I did the necessary things. There's even some mods that other folks have done that cost money. Those are what I'm going to get into next time. Here's a couple other things that you want to do that really don't cost you any money either. These little foam pads. All it is is a part of the packaging that the printer came with. And I cut out four chunks of it. And I have the printer setting on all four of those pieces. That has quieted the printer down by at least 50%. This is another mod that I printed. It is not necessary because with the Ender 3 Pro, the motor shaft does not come up from the knurl that's down here. So this is basically just glued on top and really all it acts as as a guide to kind of let me see that the thing is turned and, and it's kind of interesting to see the movement. You may notice that I have a mod back here on the feed motor. Basically that is billet aluminum that replaces the plastic pieces. And I think that it is a much more robust system. It's very inexpensive. I got this one for about 10 bucks, maybe 11 bucks with shipping from Amazon. It was a really pretty easy deal there. There's also a blue extrusion line or an extrusion tube. And I also got that on Amazon, also very, very cheap. And if you're printing with higher temperature materials, you're gonna want a higher temp tube that will be able to withstand that. That uh, white or clearish plastic tube really can't stand the higher heat and will melt. So I went ahead and got that mod too. Join me next time on this 3D printing series and I'll be showing you how to do some YouTube kind of related things. These are pretty cool camera mounts. I really like them and they're completely well, they're not free because, you know, that extrusion did cost me about 20 bucks, but heck, I just love printing my own stuff. If you like what you see, please go ahead and subscribe. We're really close to a million subscribers. Every day we get just a little bit closer to that 1 million subscribers. So please feel free to subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment if you have a question. Until next time, I'm Dave Anderson signing out for Heli Cools, Helipad Productions. You guys be safe out there, and God bless.